Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are solving one-step addition subtraction equations with integers. My titles are becoming so long that they cover my face. You're welcome. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we'll be doing today. Um, we will be doing addition equations with integers, subtraction equations with integers, and practicing with integers. Basically, we're going to be working with positive and negative numbers, doing the um, one-step equations a lot of the similar ones that we did in our previous lesson. So addition equations with integers will look very similar to the addition equations that, uh, like I said, were in the previous, um, the previous video that I made. The difference is that you'd have some positive and some negative numbers. Notice that each of these equations has at least one negative number. That's where the challenge comes in. That's what we're, we're building on from our previous lesson. But we will follow the same exact steps. Those steps I told you to remember and follow, let's see how they work when we have a negative number. So you find the variable, which is right there. X is our variable. We ask ourselves, what happened to this variable? Well, we added negative 5, right? That's the, the part that's not connected, right? What's, what's connected with x plus negative 5? So now we're going to do the opposite of that to both sides. Now, the opposite of plus negative 5 is minus negative 5. So look down here at the bottom, plus, minus negative 5. Do we remember anything from the rules of adding and subtracting integers that might help us there? If we keep reading to the end of that, um, that little bullet point, you should see minus negative 5 is the same thing as adding 5. So really, adding negative 5 is the same as subtracting if we're going to simplify things down. So we're going to, instead of minus negative 5 from both sides of this equation, we're going to add 5 to both sides of this equation. Because adding 5, adding positive 5, is the opposite of adding negative 5. So let's go ahead and do that. Minus, um, plus negative 5 and plus positive 5, those two will cancel each other out, leaving us with x by itself on the left side of this equation. 7 plus 5 is 12. Now, if you want to check your work, a great thing to do with positives and negatives um, is to check your work. Try 12 plus negative 5 and see if you get positive 7 as your result, and you will. 12 plus negative 5, or 12 minus 5, is equal to 7. Let's do some practice. This one here, 2 plus a equals negative 8. 2 plus a equals negative 8. Pause the recording, follow those steps, try to solve this equation. Hello, welcome back. I'm going to follow these steps. I find my variable. a is my variable. I ask myself, what happened to my variable? Well, I added 2 to my variable, 2 plus a, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. 2 plus a minus 2, the 2 and minus 2 will cancel each other out, leaving me with a by itself on the left side of the equation. I have negative 8 minus 2, which will give me negative 10. So in all of these, we have to remember the steps for adding and subtracting integers and then you should be good to go. All right, one more practice with an addition, um, addition equation here. x plus negative 6 equals 18.2. Pause the recording, try this one out. Welcome back. Did you pause the recording? I hope so. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> instead of doing it the way I did in, my, in the previous example, I'm going to find my variable, x. What happened to it? I added negative 6. So I'm going to do the opposite to both sides. So instead of the way I did it before, I'm going to subtract negative 6 from both sides of this equation, just to write it out and see how silly that would look. Now, I recognize that minus negative 6 means plus 6. So that's going to help me when solving this. This, this side here just all cancels each other because I have plus negative 6 and minus negative 6. I'm left with just x on that side. But solving this side over here, I have to remember that 18.2 plus 
minus negative 6 is the same thing as 18.2 plus 6. So I'm going to end up with 24.2 on the on the right side of this equation again I would encourage you if you're ever confused by how many negatives there are to check your work is 24.2 plus negative 6 equal to 18.2 alright so you can try that out and see pretty much with with all the questions that we're going to be working with Tr check your work and make sure and that is a true statement 24.2 minus 6 is equal to 18.2. Alright, so let's go um, move on to some subtraction equations. So basically we're going to add a, a level of confusion in there by adding some subtraction symbols. We're m minusing numbers, right? We're going to be subtracting numbers instead of adding. So you add in some more of those um, subtraction symbols. Double negatives are going to be a big part of this. Um, so a subtraction equation would look like this, and we would solve it using the same steps that we did, um, subtraction equations without integers. So I find my variable, x. I ask myself, what happened to x, or what's connected to x? Well, I have a minus 6, so I'm going to do the opposite to both sides. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides of this equation. x minus 6 plus 6 cancel each other out, I'm left with x by itself on the left side of the equation. Negative 6 or negative 9 plus 6. Now I have to remember my rules for adding integers. The signs are different, so I find the difference. Negative 9 and positive 6, the difference between 9 and 6 is 3. And then I ask myself, is are there more negatives or more positives? Right? There are more negatives. There's nine negatives and only six positives, so my final answer will be negative three. And again, you can check this by doing negative three, substitute it in for x, and say, is negative three minus six equal to negative nine? And it is. Yeah. All right, time for some practice. I'm giving you your first one with a double negative in there. Go ahead and try and solve that one on your own. Pause the recording and then see what I do to solve it. Welcome back. We are solving this e equation. Um, I think I've told you in the past that I hate those double negatives. I think that they're ridiculous. Um, they're, they're not very realistic, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And you can do this. You could make that into an addition equation. A minus negative 7 is the same thing as a plus 7. I would do that while solving to try and make my life more, you know, easy. Now, if you didn't do that, you could still possibly get the correct answer if you follow the steps correctly, but let's just simplify our lives. Get rid of those double negatives whenever you see them. Just get rid of them. All right, I'm going to find my variable, a. What happened to a or what's connected to a? Plus 7. I'll do the opposite to both sides of this equation, so I will be subtracting 7 from both sides of this equation. Um, 7 minus 7 is 0, leaving a by itself on the left and 10 minus 7 equals 3. A is equal to 3. You can check your work at the beginning. Is 3 minus negative 7 equal to 10? Or in other words, is 3 plus 7 equal to 10? Yes, it is. And so we've had a successful practice. Yay! All right. Let's move into a question that um, <clears throat> it looks like it's an addition question. But I'm going to change it so that it is a subtraction question. So before I, I let you guys practice this on your own, this is the first step I would do is to change this plus negative 5.2 into instead being just minus. It's the same thing. Plus negative 5.2 is the same thing as B minus 5.2. So you can solve it using the first uh, line there, B plus negative 5.2 is equal to 10.5. Or you can solve it using b minus 5.2 equals 10.5. Both ways, if you solve properly, will get you the correct answer. So go ahead and pause the recording. Try this one out. All right, I'm going to show you how to solve this. If you haven't solved it on your own, pause the recording. I'm going to look. Where is my variable? b is my variable. What happened to it or what's connected to it? Minus 5.2. So I'm going to add 5.2 to both sides of this equation to keep it balanced and solve. 
negative 5.2 plus 5.2 cancel each other out. I'm left with B by itself on the left. On the right, 10.5 plus 5.2 gives me 15.7. This question might look familiar because it's the same as what we did in the previous lesson, actually. It really is. So you can simplify this down and just remember the rules. Just try and remember the rules that you've done in the past with adding and subtracting integers and also remember to follow these steps. Don't skip the steps. Review the steps and practice like crazy. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.